Weddington Glen, Beachwood Homes, Weddington, North Carolina, Union County, just south of Charlotte. Do I have your attention? Hey, it's Roger Holloway. I'm with Prosted Realty. I, I'm a buyer agent. I've got a great team of buyer agents, and we basically are making relocating to Charlotte easy, although buying a home these days is not that easy, and having good representation I think is important. Had a beautiful day yesterday over at Weddington Glen. Got a chance to walk the land. In fact, if you wait till the end of this video, there'll be a link for you to see me walking the actual dirt and a couple of things I noticed that I think you may not know yet. So Weddington Glen, and who is Beachwood Homes? Well, number one, Weddington Glen, I've got the site map. We're going to look at that. And uh, this is pretty exciting stuff. So if you're like a million dollar buyer and you think, man, I'm a first time home buyer. I know million dollars is first time home buyer now. That's what it feels like. I mean, it's crazy out there. Well, I went to a realtor event yesterday. I've got a lot of stuff I want to share with you today about Wellington Glen. So if you're a million dollar buyer and you've been interested, I've got the base uh, pricing on, on the actual lots and which lots are sold and something about each one of the floor plans that I think will be fascinating to you. Let's start there. This particular plan is called the River Birch. Now, in delineating the plans, I asked the uh, uh, Beachwood Homes sales rep yesterday, I've known him for a long time. I said, uh, is this a plan, the Oregon, the other plan, I'll show you that one, is that a ranch plan? He goes, well, kind of. Again, I'll show you the elevation and talk you through it. But let's talk about this one. Because the main, the main thing to understand is, is this a primary suite down or is this a primary suite up? For those of you that have like a newborn or a one-year-old, you probably wouldn't like the idea of tucking your baby to bed upstairs and then going down the stairs and going to bed in your mat, uh, you know, primary suite on the main level. So for most people that have a very small baby or about ready to have babies, having your primary suite up might be the right move. For those of you, uh, my wife, again, case in point, when she was in her uh, you know, late 40s, early 50s, she built, I guess that would have been the late 40s, she built this house that we're in. Uh, interesting side note, the uh, the main boss of the applesauce at uh, Beachwood Homes was a Toll Brothers guy about that time. When this development was going up, he was just beginning over at Toll Brothers, spent 11 years there. I've got a really good impression about this company, by the way, after going to that realtor event yesterday and getting my feet on the dirt. I'll tell you more about that. But um, the idea then, when she was in her late 40s, she built this house with a master down. Now she's in her late 60s, and guess what? We don't really have to move. Again, illustrated by the fact that we built a house last year in a 55 plus, and she decided she didn't want to leave this one. So she made the right move. So uh, I'm rambling, but let me tell you about Weddington Glen. Uh, all right, so this particular, let's talk about plans first. This one is the River Birch. It's a primary suite down, primary suite down. Look at that porch, it's got that wraparound feel. This is a cool looking elevation, but this is not the only elevation. Each one of these uh, floor plans has a various type of front or elevation, front elevation that you can put on it. So this is one, I think this is called farmhouse, could be wrong, but this is the river birch. And again, primary suite down. All right, so let's go to the next uh, uh, plan. This, let me pull me over here. In fact, let me diminish me because it's about the plan at this point, right? I think that's good looking. And by the way, they used uh, the, the main guy from Beachwood, uh, who's I believe dad was the founder. It was there at the meeting yesterday, the event under the lawn, under the nice uh, you know tent. It was, a, it was a nice event. Said basically that they hired local architects, or maybe that was uh, uh, the local president. They hired a local architect to design this. So this is kind of cool stuff. And I will equate this to Jones Homes USA, who didn't just come in with the stuff they were building in Orlando when they came to the falls at Weddington and Bent Creek. One of the, one of the uh, attractions was that their architecture was different and thoughtful. And I, I really see that this architecture is thoughtful. So this particular one, I mean, look at that. You got two windows with a shed dormer and then another one and then one with a one pane. So that's, that's different. Then this has got the feel of a wraparound with a little bit of a hip there on that. 
uh, and then the, the, the high pitch on these, and then the shed dormer over there, and even the use of color. So to me, this one is thoughtful. This is called the poplar plan. Now, this is the only plan with the primary suite up. Primary suite up, the poplar plan. You're not limited to this elevation. So we want to have one of my agents get with you with the seller's agent. Please don't reach out to the seller's agent on your own. Reach out to us. If you're already working with one of my agents, let them bring you there and go through all this. If you have not yet, do not contact the builder because then they will say, hey, we brought you to them, not Roger Holloway's team. So again, if you're not connected, always best to get a buyer agent involved. We can show you this. We can show you Twin Lakes. We can show you, the, uh, you know, uh, the falls at Weddington, Jones Homes. So there are a lot of reasons uh, to have a buyer agent first to show you the whole market. We can take you to Cardinal Row. So again, do not reach out to them. And you know, they like seeing Rodney Jones show up or Denise O'Farrell because they know, uh, again, Mr. Teat, Richard Teat, the, the, the listing agent for the seller, they know they're gonna have a good experience with somebody knowledgeable like Rodney Jones and a lot of years experience, et cetera, et cetera. So it's always better to have your own buyer representation lined up so that if you ever do call, hey, I'm working with Prostead Realty's agent of this name. All right, so this particular plan is the Poplar. This is the one with the primary suite up. Let's go to the next one. Now, this is the one where I asked uh, Richard, I said, is this a ranch? He goes, kind of. This one's called the Oregon plan. The Oregon plan, again, has a primary suite down and it's got a couple of bedrooms up. So there are a lot of options here, but again, I think this is a thoughtful uh, piece of architecture. Again, that porch goes all the way across, craftsman styling, and it's got this large uh, front, uh, do I call that a dormer? It's just basically, it's basically, yeah, but the, it's got this, uh, Shed roof, small, but this one is a really an architectural element. I may not, shouldn't even call that a front dormer. But look at that, five windows across. Now, you see the inside of the plan, you'll see why those five windows. It offers a very nice interior space. But um, I liked Richard's answer. Is this a ranch? Kind of. So uh, we're not limiting to a ranch. But again, with the primary suite down, this Oregon plan. And again, this is not the only elevation. So we want to think in terms of, of, uh, of a uh, uh, floor plan that meets your needs. And by the way, when I go start talking about the home features uh, from this builder, you're going to be impressed. So hopefully you got a couple minutes. I do. Uh, Jack, the real estate dog, is right down here. And so we're, we're in good shape. All right, so this is the Oregon plan. So let's, get, let's recap. This is the River Birch plan, primary suite down. This is the Poplar plan primary suite up. This is the Oregon plan, primary suite down, it's got a ranch feel. So without going in depth into the plan, this is gonna have a master primary down, but probably another uh, bedroom down. So that's important for a lot of people. And then this is, wow, isn't that nice looking? This is the Magnolia plan, primary suite down. It's got a lot of, a lot of things to love, so you've got See that element and that element? So I like the way this architect was thinking. You got that element, a little covering there for your courtyard garage, and then you've got it matched over here with your front entry. That's good looking. The window treatments, this is, I like this architect. And so this is the Magnolia plan with the primary suite down as well. All right, guys, and so here's the, here's the, uh, the uh, uh, site plan. So basically, lot six is sold. So uh, lot seven is sold. Nine, 10, 11, 12 are sold. And 14 and 15 are sold. So if you kind of go around the, uh, the bend there, so you've got one, two, three. Are those available? They're gonna have, uh, we don't know that for sure. Not released, probably gonna be models, I'm guessing. Uh, four and five are going to be inventory homes. It's gonna be a river birch on lot four, and that's gonna be about 1.2, 1.3 million. And there's gonna be a Magnolia on lot 
five. So re rewind this videotape, watch it again. Uh, five is going to be an inventory home, meaning they've picked the finishes, they're gonna build it the way they're, they're permitting it. And that one's also about 1.2, 1 1.3 uh, million. So that's gonna be right there up towards the front. By the way, none of these houses back up to other houses. So that's pretty unique, right? And so, um, uh, so then we come up into here and we've got lot six is uh, sold. Lot seven is sold. And a lot of this has to do with when are they released? When are these lots released? Because you can't buy them unless they're released. And once they get released, it's on, right? Especially for desirable uh, lots. Uh, here's the uh, uh, compass. North is this way. South is this way, uh, east and west. So uh, again, eight is going to be, it, it, it's a showing available now, lot number eight, coming into this cul-de-sac. Again, I like the way they've pivoted off of these cul-de-sacs. Uh, nine, 10, 11, 12 are sold. So you got nine, 10, 11, 12, cul-de-sac, larger lots, fanning out, et cetera. Uh, 13 is available. 13 is right here. That's a nice lot. That's kind of where I live on uh, the entry to a cul-de-sac. Entry to a cul-de-sac is nice. Cul-de-sac is nice because of the, the lot fanning out to the back. But these are all good sized lots anyway. 14 and 15 are sold. And then uh, uh, 33 is sold. 33 is where? 33 is over here. And that's got a wider front because of that radius. And it goes back a little bit smaller in the back. That's 30, I'm sorry, that's 32. Uh, 33 is sold as well. 34 is going to be an inventory home, which is right here. That's going to be a poplar at about 1.2 and change. That's going to be a, an inventory home. So again, let us help you. Do not reach out to this builder or any builder. Shout out to Yuri. You know who you are. Um, but let us help you with it because again, they like seeing us coming because we, we can help set the proper expectations for you. And when you think about it, you're already paying for our fee. They've, they're going to pay us. It's already built into the home, which basically you're paying for the home. And so uh, to go in there without a buyer agent, it's silly because you might buy here, but you might buy at Twin Lakes. You might buy at Cardinal Row. You might buy Cardinal Crest. You might buy right at the Falls at Weddington or other new developments coming on. So have yourself a buyer agent. Shout out to Rob and Vera. So number 35 is sold also, and that's what's released as of this moment. Now, I want to talk to you about this. This is pretty exciting. Now, let me show you where this is on the map, by the way. Whole Foods Market, this is Waverly. This is 485, exit 57. Got a Lowe's here. You got a Home Depot over here. Uh, and you've got Ray Farms over here, Lifetime Fitness. You've got Dr. Hines Sex Counseling. I didn't know about that one, but anyway, whatever. Uh, so this is a great area, by the way, coming off of 485, coming down here. This is where the Wesley Chapel uh, Volunteer Fire Department, think Harlow's Crossing. It's kind of across from Harlow's Crossing, Caddy Corner from Harlow's Crossing, Weddington Glen. So let's just kind of leave that up there. And then let's go over to this because I like this page. I, hopefully you will learn to love it. RogerHolloway.com and find out more. All right, exterior home features. All right, are you ready for this? This is good stuff. I'm just gonna highlight the stuff that I think is important that sets Beachwood homes apart. Number one, they got these three car garages, side entry or courtyard. So in, on a house, a side entry is off to the side. A courtyard, as I showed you in that one, is where it goes right and then you got the front door right there. Three car garage, full fescue sodded lawn. Full fescue. A lot of people don't like that Bermuda, that cafe latte. Jack, do you like it? That's what color you are. You're cafe latte. <laughs> Crazy boy. All right, so that's good. All right, and I was impressed when speaking to the uh, division president yesterday because I love Huber Engineered Woods. If you're a subscriber of mine, you know that. If you're not, hover around my mug and then subscribe. But they're really proud of using the, the, the Huber zip wall system. Uh, I like it too for a lot of reasons. Plus, Huber uh, offers the Advantec uh, subfloor. I like that too. Uh, and you know, to put that in perspective, you've got value builders like Lennar. Lennar, who is cheap in my opinion in terms of the, how they price a home. I think they price it, big corporate company, to be cheap. 
When I say cheap, I mean they're value engineered. But even they use this more expensive product, Advantech, on the subflooring, uh, on the second story, because they know, because of the way it's built, that they're going to they're going to have fewer warranty calls. So that's a price point for them that makes sense. But fewer warranty calls is a dollar amount thing for Lennar. Now I believe that that Beachwood uses it because it's a better product. That's why I believe they spend the extra money on it because it's a better product. And here's something I didn't know. This is amazing to me. So in the your roof decking and you've got the I don't know if they're using the Huber uh, zip. Uh, boards up there, but they spray foam the inside. You know, a lot of roof systems, you have this, maybe with radiant barrier. Uh, if you're a subscriber, you know what I mean. And and blown in insulation right here above your uh, your ceiling of your second level. Well, what they do is they spray foam the roof, the boards. They spray foam that. To me, that is a great uh, energy efficiency uh, uh, deal. All right, for uh, their uh, HVAC system, they use 96% efficient. Now, why do they do that? You think about builder grade, a lot of builder grade is 80% efficiency. They, we just want to give you an HVAC. It'll be warm. It'll be cool. Don't worry about it. But they have spent the extra money for 96% high efficiency. They're using Linux right now. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, this is cool right here. This comes with the house, an electric car charging station rough end. I see that is brilliant. They're roughing in in case you might want to have an electric car in the future. I love that. They have a solar panel rough in. And again, think of the reasoning. It's inexpensive to do it when you're building the home, not that much. And you're paying for it. It's in the price of the home. But that is a great feature. The solar panel, in case you want a solar panel, it's already figured out. In case you want to buy an electric car, the charging station's already built in. And... Uh, also for a backup generator rough in. Now, my wife did that on this house, uh, this Toll Brothers house 20 years ago, backup generator rough in. And then they're, they're, um, they have, and I saw this somewhere else, they have four, is it 400 amp? Did I mark that? 400 amp? Uh, bum, bum, bum. Seemed like I saw a really high end, instead of 200 amp uh, for the electrical. I could be wrong on that. I'm not seeing it right now. But that would make sense. So that's cool stuff. And then they have, and I was impressed with this. You know, the, they're not just building the code, but Beachwood uh, Homes is building like on your, you know, your exterior walls. That on your exterior walls, you basically, instead of a bat, code is R13 right now. Uh, that's the, uh, how much air basically is allowed to infiltrate. They've upgraded that to R15. Now that may not seem like a lot, and that didn't cost them that much more. But that saves you money every month. Just like up in the attic, that spray foam, that's going to save you money every month. So I like the fact that they're, it's, it sounds like they're thinking about you. You're paying for it, but, you know, they're doing it. They're, they're sort of forcing you to get the, the, these rough ends because it's probably good for you. It's good for resale. All right. Now, here's another thing that you might not notice in this small print. A tankless water heater, cool, but it also has a recirculating pump to the primary suite. Now, I didn't know what that was. You may not know either. A recirculating pump I, until I had to replace my hot water heater uh, in this 20-year-old house about five years ago. And a recirculating pump allows you, Google it, to have uh, better water efficiency and faster hot water at your uh, primary suite sooner. So, they again, they built it in. It's there. They're putting solid wood shelving in your primary bedroom closet. You know, the built-in, I always talk about a trim carpet that could do this, wouldn't cost that much money. Solid shelving in the primary closet, the pantry, all secondary closets, and all linen closets. So in other words, instead of the wire shelving, they're building in a nice solid shelving. Man, that is money. I like that. Um, so they've got a little sheet here where they tell you to, to, uh, uh, to compare. And I'm not sure this is a fair comparison. They wouldn't put this out if they didn't know that they win. <laughs> but it helps you see it all. Uh, Beachwood Homes, they include Bosch appliances. I like that. Bosch stainless steel appliances, 36-inch gas cooktop and all that. I like that. Bosch appliances, 10-foot ceilings on the first floor. Zip, the Huber zip system. 8-foot uh, tall front and rear doors, 8-foot tall interior doors on the first floor. 
Second floor, there's 6'8", normal. Uh, Renai tankless water heater. Recirculating power. Yeah, here it is, 400 amp electrical service. Most homes are coming with 200 amp. Uh, the rough end, the rough end, the rough end, the R15, the spray foam. I talked about all that stuff. So I don't know, this is pretty cool. I like this. So base pricing as of right today, uh, that Oregon plan. Uh, let's go back and let me just pull, see if I can pull them up real quick. That Oregon plan pricing is somewhere plus or minus right at $1 million. All right, so the Poplar plan, this is the one with the um, uh, primary suite up. The Poplar plan is priced a little over a million dollars right now, the base plan. Now remember, you've got the base plan, you've got the home site premium, you've got uh, all of your options. So don't think a million, you know, when I say a little over a million, think, you know, 1.3 is what you need to be thinking, 1.4, depending on how, how crazy you get, all right? Uh, the Magnolia uh, base price is a little over a million, to about 1.1, uh, depending on the elevation. They all have arts and crafts elevation, except the palm. So you're either going to get an English farmhouse, uh, an American farmhouse, an English romantic uh, arts and crafts, depending on the elevation that you pick. So all these base prices are just right at about a million, 1.1. And, uh, and so that's what you got, guys. So, hey, wow, this is pretty exciting. You can always go to rogerholloway.com, where we make relocating to Charlotte easy. If you're a newcomer, just scroll down on that homepage where it says Schools and Communities Guide here. Nearly 700 pages of information about the small towns surrounding Charlotte, about the little towns, little pockets in Charlotte. Uh, your tax guide, look for municipal and county rates combined, your city and your county combined tax rates. That's, and all kind of stuff, schools, communities, very good. And if you get it onto any other page on my site, we have videos on most all pages. Uh, you can go down to the footer on the quick links and you'll see it says schools and communities right there. It'll get you to that uh, flip book. Wow, I went long today, guys, but this is good information on Weddington Glen, luxury homes for sale in Charlotte. To get to know the floor plans, again, to go into the actual plans, we would love to go with you, have an appointment uh, with Richard T. Don't go and see him alone. He's a closer. You better take a closer with you, Rodney. Rodney, the closer, will help uh, keep Richard T. from closing you for them. Only if it's right for you, Rodney Jones. <laughs> you got to have protection in that ring. Richard Teat is an excellent sales guy, and he's honest and fair, and uh, we, we love him to pieces. All right, guys, I'm rambling because I can, because I've got the microphone, and I've got the cameras, so thank you. Hit subscribe if I've helped you, and I think I have. Couple it with a phone call. If you're already working with one of my agents, call them directly about Weddington Glen. If we haven't touched base with you, call me directly, and if you're coming in town especially, I want to make sure I can connect you with the right agent that will be there to give you the attention that you deserve okay guys i can't wait to put that name with that face see if i don't answer the phone all right guys thank you and we will see you in the next video